in just a little bit. Want to introduce you to our guests this morning. Take a look. We've got a lot of them. Of course, uh, Jonna. Good morning. Is always with us from the uh, Jonna Cravens with the uh, Longhorn Championship Rodeo. And we have a very special guest from right here in the valley, uh, Gary Ratliff. Sorry about that earlier. No, that's fine. I'm used to it. The, you know, uh, G E R R Y is a, a different name, a different way of spelling Gary. And I talked to somebody not too long ago that actually called that Jerry. So sorry about that. No. Nope. Now you're from New Hope. Yes, ma'am. And you're a World Championship Bareback. X. X World Championship. <laughs> Eighty-seven. Wow. Eighty-seven. And we have some. Some little ones with us here. Now, are they twins? No, ma'am. They're 11 months apart. But right now, at this time, they're both seven. 11 months apart. They're both seven right now. We had to be eight, and St. Patrick's Day in West was seven, Valentine's Day. Now, this is West? Yes, ma'am. Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day? Lucky in love. Lucky in love. <laughs> How cute. Now, I've been a lucky man here lately. What is their forte at the rodeo? What do they like to do best? Stay behind the bucking chutes with the cowboys and climb on the bucking chutes and set on the bulls and horses if I let them. Yeah, yeah. They gonna grow up in uh, daddy's footsteps? I reckon I'd rather them golf or be a doctor or something. But <laughs> that's out of the question right now. I'll have to let them learn the hard way like yeah. me. I kind of keep telling my kids too to grow up and do anything other than what I do for a living. Right. And, but, but of course my oldest son looks at it and says, gosh, it's so easy. You just sit there and talk all day long. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, okay, you can do that if you want. It's got its good and bad on everything. It <laughs> sure does. You got to get up at two o'clock in the morning. Right, and three o'clock wasn't early enough for this game. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I got up at three. Now, um, how did you get involved? In Are you from New Hope originally? No, ma'am. Uh, I moved here uh, with this one of my wife's family's from, and I moved here and stayed here with them. Right. How did you get involved uh, in what you do? Well, when I was a kid, Daddy took me to a rodeo because he kind of helped behind the bucket shoots. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm originally from Ringgold, uh, Fort Old Fort Georgia, just 100 miles from here probably. But I've lived here in Hospital New Hope most of my life. Right. Um, so you grew up and you just decided that uh, as you were growing I up, that's what you wanted to do. I wanted to be a cowboy. And then when I was like uh, 12 years old, they let me get on my first small bull. And I got small, the fever. There are no small bulls. <laughs> I am sorry. I got the fever then, I guess, and done it ever since. Now, so you originally were uh, bull riding? Yes, ma'am. And then you went into... Uh... It took me 13 years to learn you eat the bull, you don't ride them. So <laughs> then I started riding bucking horses. <laughs> Which is in itself, I mean, that, that is a tough... Now, you've got some equipment here. Tell me about some of this stuff. It's a bareback rig. It likes what's being showed right now. Yeah. Oh, ow. Woo! And uh, that's my event right there. And you wedge your hand in that rigging because you can't hang on and muscle them. You wedge your hand in that rigging. I, I tell you what, it doesn't look a whole lot easier than bull riding. No, it doesn't. No, so they, uh, Rodeo Sports Riders of America wrote it, the bull riding most dangerous event, but all the cowboys think the bareback riding is the most physical event on your body. Right, right. And, uh, my body feels like it now. I've been riding it for 20 years. <laughs> 20 years. So this goes on the horse. And, yes, ma'am. And then you just, you hold on here, right? Right. But now, you, do you tie your hand in? No, ma'am. Your glove is uh, on your hand, and everything fits real tight, and it wedges in there. Oh, OK. It squeaks and pops, and takes you a while to get your hand in there. Squeaks and pops, huh? To get yeah, in I there. Yeah, I bet. With, with rolls, and you put rolls in on it to help. Now, what's the worst injury you've ever had? Oh, knock on wood, I guess this year probably. We went to 140 rodeos, and uh, I had one to run me down a pin and turn my toe completely back. And I thought it broke my ankle and I was through for the year, but thankfully, good Lord, it didn't. Oh, man. And uh, I guess just torn ligaments and yeah. bad oh, stuff Oh, yeah, it's like got to be that. hard on your body. I went to the doctor last few weeks ago, and he said my hand had been broke two or three times that I didn't know. I'd take a week or two off, let swelling go down, get back on. <laughs> now, now what That's are the a typical kids? cowboy, though. I, I know, you know it. Broken bones, doesn't care. Doesn't, doesn't matter. We're too lazy to work, too scared to steal, so we rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, what are the kids' got? Uh, Have they got little ones of these? Wynn has got, yes, yes ma'am, he, uh, he's Win. got steer rope. Wynn. That's Win. what you ride steers with. Hey, Wynn, come here a minute. I'm going to turn you around up here where you there can show us. The there you go. Let's take a look at wind stuff. Wind can show you how a bull rider takes a bull wrap and they hang up to bulls when they take these bull wraps sometimes. Just like bareback riders, we hang up, bull riders hang up, 
It, if you get on enough, you're gonna hang up. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> but that's called uh, that's that's not a real good route to take as far as safety wise. Isn't that the but one? That right there the, makes uh, you hang on and your hand won't come out. That's what if you get hung does. up, you're in big trouble, this right? Mouth. What's it called? A suicide, suicide yeah. route. Mm -hmm. Is now, that you the one you used to use? Yes, sir. Until <laughs> I learned the hard way. Oh man. How yeah. many times did you get hung up? Riding bulls, yeah. uh, probably four or five, and got thrown there a bunch oh. of times. And, but I hung up to bareback horses once real bad in 81 in the Mass Square Gardens, and I had time to think about dying. I drove around the arena, and it was a real right. scary deal. Oh, man. Now, what did you, you've got your bells, and what are those for? The bells, they, uh... They, oh. they, uh... Wait a second. They hold the bulls up. Uh, the bull rope, when you put it on, um... It, the bull bucks and it makes it fall off and it's got heavy weight on it and it bucks your rope off. Wow. The bales pull the, the weight of the bales pull the rope off. Smart right? seven-year-old. And that proves that you have not tied the rope onto the bull. Right. You can't oh. tie your rope on the bull. All you can do is wrap it around and then hold it with your grip like right. like when showing. Right. So no, no cheating. No cheating. Right. It's required that you have bells on your rope. That's right. You know, I didn't realize that. Uh, let's see. Bell don't ring. Here, wait you get wait a minute. Qualified ride no score, mm -hmm. and if you slap the bull, you'll get a no score too, because you gotta, you can't d touch the bull with your free arm, because you hand it, you putting it up. Uh -huh. Now, how old are these two He's guys? He's seven. seven. Can They're you going believe on 40. this? Well, when, <laughs> they do this every day. Wynn, why don't yeah. you take a seat back down there and let me talk to West. West, you come up here. I, I need one of those for Mike. You know what? I really do. He couldn't sneak up on you.